Hello everyone, bringing you another video looking at some life jackets today. In this instance we're looking at the Assault Troops life jacket. So this is a life jacket design intended for use by troops in an amphibious assault. And the Mark I and the Mark II, which similar to the Parachutist life jacket which we looked at previously, the design remains very similar but is made in more modern materials, nylon and so forth. So again, in this video we're going to contrast the Mark I and the Mark II. And again, these were brought along by Alan, when he, my friend Alan, who came to stay with us over Christmas. And thank you again for bringing them over, Alan, to give me the opportunity to, to look at these and film them. Uh, I've subsequently purchased the Mark II from Alan, so I'm looking to get hold of a Mark I now at some point uh, for my own collection. So, as I say, without further ado, we'll get into the main part of the video and have a look at these two examples of the Assault Troops life jacket. So this is the Mark I Assault Troops life jacket in its carrier. And you'll, you'll notice, if you've watched the previous video, looking at the life jacket parachutist, you'll see that the carrier is very similar in design. If we turn this over here, it closes in essentially exactly the same way. Lift the dot with a long pin that then passes through eyelets in the two flaps here to allow it to be closed in. And you can see the, the life jacket packed neatly away in here. Remove this. There don't appear to be any extra ring stamps in this uh, internally as there were on the, the life jacket parachutist, but we have the life jacket itself here. Quite a similar design, although not identical. It is a different design. Uh, you can see again made in this green cloth with blue webbing straps in this instance. Closes with press studs down the outside. You can see there that obviously this contains the, the flotation bladder inside that comes up, inflates each side of the chest and round the back of the head to give plenty of support in the water should you end up in the water. And again on this side here we have the inflation canister and this is again in a zipped compartment here. We just undo the, the zip there. You can see it's essentially the same design of canister. You can see and again secures in the same way as we saw with the life jacket parachutes in the previous video. It's secured there with a little tape that ties around as well. We'll zip this back down again. You can see again it has the, the pull handle there as we saw again with the life jacket parachutes. The method of inflation is essentially exactly the same. And the way this secures around the body is similar, though not exactly the same. You don't have quite the same complexity of webbing straps at the rear. You can see it's a simpler system with these two straps that go around under the arm, meet in the back in the stitch section here. And then you actually just have a simple strap that runs under the crutch. So these run from under the arms down to the lower back. And this strap then runs up between the legs and fastens at the front in the same manner as we saw previously. You have two, the two sections have eyelets in at the end here. They meet over this pin and uh, they, they slot those over the pin and then put the split pin through to hold it in place. And you have adjustment uh, with this buckle at the front there as well. Again, the easiest way to sort of look at these as they're worn is for me to put it on. It doesn't really fit properly on the mannequin. So we'll have a look at that now. I'll put this on and it will obviously show you how these are worn and what they look like when they are worn. So here I'm wearing the Mark I Salt Troops life jacket. And you can see that the design is similar to the parachutist life jacket in the way it, it attaches, but is, is somewhat simpler as we'll see as we move this around. Obviously looked at the parachutist life jacket in a previous video. Obviously you have slightly longer uh, containers for the bladder here on the front. It does still form a collar around the neck. You can see that the fixing at the front here is essentially the same with a pin passing through eyelets and a, a split pin to secure all that there. But as I move around, you can see, we look at each side here, you can see the the side straps coming round, which pass and join the very much the lower back or actually round just under the buttocks and pass underneath the crutch. You can see that if I turn all the way around here, you can see the straps coming down from each side, run down to the rear here and pass through the crutch and then obviously pass under the crutch and then fasten at the front there, as you can see using this, this system here. So somewhat simpler in the way it's actually put on. The, the webbing harness and so forth associated with it is not quite as complex as with the, the parachutist life jacket, but nevertheless, it's quite a similar design. And you obviously have the, the pull release here again for the canister on the side there, operates in a very similar manner. The principle is essentially the same, it's just not quite as complex a, a piece of kit because it's not serving quite the same purpose uh, or it's not being used by quite the same troops with the same sort of equipment and so forth. So hopefully that's uh, clarified how this is worn uh, with me wearing it here. We we'll move on now to look at the Mark II Assault Troops life jacket. And this particular example has an 80s date, which isn't entirely clear, but it's a very similar design again to the Mark I, but made in more modern materials, as we saw when we looked at the life jackets parachutists. So it's now made of nylon, as you can see here. And as I say, in that regard, it's, it's been advanced somewhat in design, obviously made of more durable materials. 
man-made materials. The harness and so forth is, is very similar nonetheless, and the canister and everything is still mounted on this side, although fully enclosed now, as you can see. You have the uh, pull tab here to activate that and inflate it. You can see the plastic press studs or snaps running down the side there, and obviously these will come adrift when it inflates. Uh, again, the bladder in there is uh, will obviously inflate and burst out of this, and it, it forms a collar around the neck provide support to the head and in theory should keep you floating upright in the water with your head out of the water even if you're unconscious that's the idea of the design if we look up here we can see some labels in the collar here and we have the label giving the details of this so you've got the uh, details there of the native stock number obviously life jacket salt troops mark ii and then you can see the date of manufacture there it's very yeah it's not not very clear at all but uh, we have an overstamp there unfortunately and then you can see the manufacturer's label if i can bring this around at the right angle there there we go you can see the lifeguard equipment lifeguard equipment limited you can see that there so quite nice clear labels in there we move this around oh yes i forgot there is another label down here just with the the washing and care instructions of course very common to see on later kit and then if you move this around here you can see the the harness at the back turn this right the way over there we go you can see the the harness is stitched into this strapping which runs around the inside of the life jacket and the two straps which come down to meet in the lower back as we saw on the mark one design so they come down to meet here and then there is a, a strap that runs through under the crutch and then it obviously fastens at the front here in the same manner as we saw previously with the the crutch strap coming through and then fastening at the front with a pin passing through two eyelets there so the way of wearing this the way of putting it putting it on and wearing it is essentially exactly the same and it's just an updated design in that regard obviously modern materials and otherwise it serves the same purpose uh, and, and functions in basically the same manner so the design was a good one and it was right from the start but obviously there was a, a need to upgrade it and obviously manufacture it in, in more modern and more durable materials and uh, that's what we have here, the Mark II. And as I say, we'll have a look at this now with me wearing it just to show you what it looks like when it is worn. As said previously, a lot easier than putting it, trying to put it on the mannequin. So we'll have a look at that now. And this is the Mark II. So very similar to the Mark I, just as I said previously, made in nylon. The strap system is essentially exactly the same. We'll see that now. You can see the fastening at the front here with the pin, the, quick, the uh, split pin to secure that at the front there. If I move around, you can see the straps coming around on each side you see those there and if we move around to the rear here you can see them come down and they meet in the middle there and obviously come up under the crutch and secure at the front so that is the, the mark ii salt troops life jacket basically the same design manufactured in more modern materials and obviously you, you still have a pull tab in this instance to operate this the canister fully enclosed on this side of the life jacket there as I already said but again High on the chest, it's supposed to form a yoke around the neck, keep you floating upright in the water. That's the idea. So that is the Mark II. So there we are. I hope you found it interesting looking at these two examples of the Assault Troops life jackets. The Mark I, I don't have an exact introduction date for, but I believe it was certainly in use by the late 1950s. It conforms as well to other life jacket designs introduced during the 1950s in terms of various design features, the materials used and so forth, and the inflation canister. The Mark II in nylon appears to have been introduced in the 1970s though exactly when in the 1970s i'm not entirely sure so if anyone has more precise introduction dates for these two designs i'd be very interested to know if you feel feel please feel free to leave a comment down below uh, if you do have that information i'd be very interested to read and add that to my my own knowledge if you have found this interesting and you'd like to see more from the channel please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and whether you're newly subscribing or you've previously subscribed please do make sure you hit the little bell the little notification button down below that will of course alert you when I upload future videos. If you really like my uploads and you would like to support the channel, you can, both Patreon and PayPal are linked down below. And as ever, a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel using those two methods. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you all very much indeed. If you'd like to follow the channel on social media, you can. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are all linked down below. And if you'd like to get in touch, but you don't really use social media, there is of course an email address down there in the description as well. That's everything for this video, so until next time, bye for now.